You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace in the presence of the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the President of the Constitutional Court, Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation Advisor, Abdullah Al Bu'ainain, and Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl Al Bu'ainain, who congratulated His Majesty on the occasion of the last 10 days of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness in the kingdom and its people's safety and security. His Majesty the King exchanged with the guests congratulations on the occasion, wishing them many happy returns. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the presidents of the judicial authorities for their sincere efforts and dedicated work to serve the country and its people, affirming the vital role of the judicial authority in bolstering the principles of justice and equality and protecting rights and freedoms. His Majesty asserted that Bahrain will continue its approach and noble humanitarian message of establishing the values of tolerance, justice, equality, peace and coexistence, wishing them all all success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace in the presence of the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Muharraq Governor, Salman bin Isa bin Hindi, the Capital Governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the Northern Governor, Ali Al Asfur, who congratulated His Majesty on the occasion of the last 10 days of Ramadan, praying to Allah the Almighty for many happy returns and for progress and prosperity for the Kingdom. His Majesty exchanged the congratulations, wishing the guests many happy returns and thanking them for their sentiments. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior and all the ministry's affiliates, hailing the awareness, contributions and initiatives provided by the governorates, which enhanced national efforts to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the governorates' role in increasing communication with all segments of society and in holding events and programs that contribute to establishing national belonging and the values of loyalty and citizenship. His Majesty asserted that with unity, Bahrain will be able to overcome this exceptional stage and to contain the pandemic, wishing all success. His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, and Royal Humanitarian Foundation's Board of Trustees Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the members of the Special Committee to coordinate the efforts of the national campaign Fi Nakhir. His Highness directed the members of the committee to make the best use of the donated money and ensure it reaches the people in need in line with the objectives of the Fi Nakhir campaign that was highly supported by the wise leadership and the people and residents of Bahrain. His Highness also stressed on the importance of studying implementing the already agreed on projects through creative ways and mechanisms. His Highness noted that the committee's job is currently at a very important stage of the campaign. Meanwhile, the committee held its second virtual meeting chaired by the Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and the Special Committee to coordinate the efforts of the Fina Khair Chairman, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid. On this occasion, Dr. Sayyid asserted the keen interest of His Majesty the King in the health and well-being of the people and residents of Bahrain, setting the kingdom as a pioneering example of combating the spread of the coronavirus virus pandemic that gained Bahrain the fine reputation and international praise from the World Health Organization. Representative Council Speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal praised the humanitarian initiative and the noble directives of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to launch together for the safety of Bahrain campaign to pay the debts and sums of many owed by Bahraini women who received judicial verdicts listed by the Interior Ministry in Fa'al Khair application. The Representative Council Speaker asserted that Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika, represents a school of humanity and giving and an exceptional approach to nobility and virtue in light of the great efforts made by Her Royal Highness to achieve the highest level of stability among Bahraini families, especially in light of the current circumstances that cast a pall on everyone, including because of the coronavirus pandemic. She noted that the humanitarian initiative of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika have boosted success of Bahraini women in various fields, further engaged them in the kingdom's development process, and enhanced their capabilities in building the state of law and institutions in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The Representative Council Speaker pointed out that the initiative of paying the debts of Bahraini women is a unique feature in reform and care, as well as achieving balance for Bahraini women in particular and the society in general. She also lauded the active role and relentless efforts of the Supreme Council for Women in cooperation with the National Task Force for Combating Coronavirus COVID-19 to provide assistance for Bahraini women, handle their problems, ensure their stability and progress, and provide them with the opportunity to shape a better future for them and their families. 
Shura Council President Ali bin Saleh has Saleh praised the humanitarian initiative and noble directives of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Tabrahim Al Khalifa, to launch together for the safety of Bahrain campaign to pay the debts and sums of money owed by Bahraini women who received judicial verdicts listed by the Interior Ministry in Fa'al Khair application. He praised Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika's initiatives which aim to maintain family stability, commending the crucial role of the Council since its inception in empowering Bahraini women and enhancing their status. He lauded the Council's drive to meet Bahraini women's needs, promote their role in developing their society and country, hailing cooperation with ministries and state entities, particularly the Ministry of Interior. The co-winners of the 11th edition of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Prize for the use of ICT in education have been announced. The Paris-based United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, said that the 2020 award recognized a writing skill program from Brazil and a dyslexia reading application from Spain. The theme of this year's award focused on the use of artificial intelligence for innovation in teaching and learning, in line with the UNESCO drive to promote effective and ethical applications of artificial intelligence in education and make it universally available. The 2020 laureates were selected out of 113 nominees from UNESCO member countries based on the recommendations of the jury, which included prominent international education experts. The Minister of Education, Majid bin Ali Naimi, stressed the importance of the prize, which was launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and adopted by the UNESCO. The prize, which was first awarded to laureates in 2006, aims to promote the use of ICT in education. He paid tribute to His Majesty the King, hailing the royal initiatives to launch the award, which reaches this year its 11th session establishing itself as a prestigious global award. The Minister of Education, Majid Naimi, participated in an extraordinary virtual meeting of Ministers of Education of Member States of the Islamic World Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, ISESCO, which discussed the situation of educational institutions under the conditions of the ongoing pandemic. The sessions of the conference also discussed experiences of returning to school, the role of artificial intelligence in developing education programs, as well as ISESCO's humanitarian initiative to form a worldwide alliance to support education. The Minister of Education gave a presentation on Bahrain's experience of conducting education remotely across all public and private schools as well as all higher educational institutions, the ministry's cooperation with the Ministry of Information Affairs along with various other measures. The conference concluded with a statement in which the ministers affirmed their support for the vision of the organization on regarding education as a basic humanitarian right as well as its commitment to meeting the objectives of sustainable development by 2030. The Ministry of Housing said that it is working on generalizing the new design idea which was applied to Eastern Head Project due to the approach's distinctive philosophy that contributed to increasing traffic safety and security in its cities and housing projects. The Ministry explained that the concept considers traffic engineering aspects with a focus on changing the behavior of the driver according to a design that seeks to change the way the streets work and contributes to limiting car speeds and encourages drivers to act in a more responsible manner suitable for pedestrians. The Ministry also affirmed that the idea influenced is the behavior of people in traffic positively as it works to reduce accident rates and environmental pollution while promoting the culture of walking to contribute to the creation of a healthy and athletic society. Religious leaders who participated in the May 14th World Day of Prayer for Humanity have praised Bahrain's effective participation in the implementation of the initiative launched by the Higher Committee of Human Fraternity to participate in the Global Day of Fasting, Prayers and Supplications for the Good of All Humanity to end the novel coronavirus pandemic. They praised His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's welcoming of the global event, noting that His Majesty the King is a first supporter of the values of religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence at the regional and local levels. The participants who belong to many religions lauded His Majesty the King's vision and consolidation of the peaceful coexistence spirit in the world through the launch of the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration. They also highly valued the efforts exerted by the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence to directly interact with all global initiatives aimed at the solidarity of entire humanity and the exceptional circumstances that have affected everyone. They stress the need for fasting, prayers and supplications for the good of humanity during this day to end the novel coronavirus pandemic as soon as possible. Board of Trustees Chairman of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, said that the center's participation in the 14th May Global Day of Prayer translates His Majesty the King's directives and visions on adopting and responding to all international calls aimed at enhancing solidarity among all humanity. Human beings. 
The Ministry of Labor and Social Development issued a statement in which it called on committing to all guidelines during the month of Ramadan as per the recommendations of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 and the decisions of the Minister of Health among the recommendations and guidelines in this regard is conducting the zakat collection and distribution process electronically. The Director of Civil Society Organization Supports Directorate at the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, Najwa Janahi, said that the ministries have begun spending electronic notifications or rather sending notifications to all organizations organizations that are engaged in zakat-related activities in order to commit them to electronic exchange. Janahi affirmed the importance of cooperation in this regard to safeguard the health and safety of all. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus COVID-19 cases reached 3,835 active cases after 382 people tested positive with 10 deaths registered. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirmed the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap and water on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.